welcome to the Critical Bench Compound. This is Coach Chris Wilson here with my friend, Mr. Big Tire. And today I'm going over, as you can tell, 13 of my favorite big tire exercises. These are great for full body strength uh, and conditioning to some degree, depending on how you uh, uh, build these exercises into a, a workout. Now, I would say this right out of the gate, don't feel like you have to do all 13 exercises in one workout. The best workout usually is probably gonna be taking three to five of these exercises and doing them in some kind of uh, you know, single set, super set, or circuit, doing these exercises for time or for reps. And number one I'll say, or number two I should say, number two would be to have a tire that is um, worthy of where you are in your training. Meaning, you don't want a, like a 100 pound tire. It's not really gonna benefit you very much at all. Uh, you also don't, probably don't want a six or 700 pound tire as your first tire to work with. Uh, or at the facility where you train, I wouldn't go right to the biggest one they have. I would start somewhere maybe closer to the 300 pound tire or something like that. Uh, you're not working with the full weight of the tire anyway, since the tire is always partially on the ground. Um, depending on the exercise you're doing. Now, for this one, uh, this video, this tire is about 450 pounds. We have two tires, they're very close in weight, and we use these for every exercise that you see in this video. Uh, love training with the big tire, and I'm just gonna take you step by step, very little coaching, and just sh show you 13 of my favorite exercises. There are more things to do with these tires that you won't see in this video. I'll make another video showcasing those. But uh, let's just start off, when it comes to working with the tire, a push-up. Everybody knows that push-ups are great, great upper body builder, great for your midsection. So you could just simply use the tire as if it's a, uh, a bench or a box, uh, anything that ele that's elevating you. And then just bring, bring your, your chest down to the tire. Really good strict form. Keep your, your heels pushing in on each other, right? So this is an easier version of a, a, a standard push-up on the ground. So when you have that angle, you're working with less of your body weight. So you might feel like, oh, I don't normally get this many push-ups, but with the tire, I'm getting you know five, five more reps, 10 more reps. So great. Now, if you wanna make your push-up harder, you go to a decline, okay? So exercise number two is just putting your feet on the tire Okay, now there's different versions of all of these too, like single leg and stuff, but just your standard, right? And then what you're trying to do here, again, feet are together, trying to bring that chest to the ground without breaking your form, okay? Try to bring that chest to the ground. Don't, don't, you know, don't do those mini partial reps. Do the nice full rep, try and get down there. I just kind of let my, hit my face go right into the ground. Boom, go as low as I can go. And I mean, that's significantly harder than the first one, significantly harder. So I would say the first one's definitely more beginner level. Uh, I would say, you know, obviously a standard push up would be in the middle. And then that decline angle is much more, not necessarily advanced, but a much harder exercise. You're gonna get much fewer reps but a great way to do your push-up. All right, let's move on. All right, so exercise number three, let's get into some lower body movements. A high step up, sure you've done these before, so many different ways to do high step ups with body weight, holding stuff, a sandbag, a kettlebell, a dumbbell, whatever, barbell. So with a tire now, these tires are, are really big. So when I get my leg up there, that's pretty high. I mean, I'm, I'm maxed out. I am actually above my hip with my knee. But when you're doing dynamic and athletic stuff, it's okay for, for everything not to be perfect, that your leg's not perfectly at 90 degrees. So you're okay with this. Uh, I would say with this exercise, keep your reps, you know, at reasonable with all of these. You know, somewhere in that, you know, six to 10 or even 12 rep range for a lot of these. Or again, if you're doing for, uh, stuff for time. Um, so for this exercise, I'm gonna go ahead and do uh, both legs. And again, it's, this is the leg I'm trying to work, right? My top leg. So I'm pushing 
I'm, I'm barely trying to use my left and then I'm coming down soft. Make this leg be the driving force of both up and down. So boom, down under control. Two, push, down under control. Three, four, five. I'll go ahead and switch, all right, boom. Now my left gets all the work. Woo, I'm a little wobbly, that's normal. I mean, these feel great though, because it's really working. The glute and everything, good. I mean, you're, you're up high, so there's a lot of glute ham action going on as I push through, and I can just feel those muscles engage as soon as I start to push through that top leg. I'm really feeling this part of my body, just like what you would if you were doing like a single leg uh, leg press. Uh, very similar feeling, similar motion. Great exercise, love doing high step ups. Again, if you wanna make them harder, add some extra external weight to your body. Weighted vest even is great. Now, let's go on to a split squat. So staying with lower body, Bulgarian split squat, it's when that rear leg is raised. Okay, so you're, you're in a single leg position, but you know, this rear leg is still part of the mix here. And I'm lowering down, I wanna make sure you're in a good distance so it feels comfortable. You should feel that nice stretch at the bottom in that, in that back quad, and then boom, just come up. So really push downward with the top of your rear foot here. Fully extend that front leg. Three, four, five. So say I did my 10, again, this would be a great 10, 12 rep exercise. Lower reps with extra load. So maybe you had a pair of dumbbells, a pair of kettlebells, uh, sandbag, anything like that. As soon as you add extra resistance, you can start to decrease your reps and, and you're working more for strength. Right here, one, adjust that rear foot if you need to until it feels better. Two, three, four, five. I try to always go down as far as, I, you know, when I feel my knee starting to, that rear knee touch the turf just very slightly. I know I'm about at my, you know, my, my depth and come right back up. A lot of focus for that exercise because you're on the single leg, a lot of balance going on, terrific lower body exercise, really hits a little bit of everything. Uh, I just love that exercise, especially again, like I said, with extra load. And then just decrease those reps, do five or six reps or eight reps per leg if you have you know, a pair of 20s or 30s or 40s in your hand. Okay, so let's move on. Back to upper body. So I showed you an incline decline push up, but now we can add a little bit of plyometrics to it. So let's do a plyo push up, hands on tire, where you're just popping yourself up off the tire. You don't have to do anything fancy with your hands, it's just really, you're pushing up more forcefully so that you're creating distance between your body and the tire. So I'm down in my push-up, and you can play with your, your, uh, your, width, your, your width. If you, if you like a closer, uh, you know, closer hand position, that's fine. If you want to widen it a few inches or, uh, you know, what's cool is the tire has all these extra ridges on it. You can kind of gauge like what feels most appropriate for your body. So I'm gonna stay in here, a little bit closer in. I'm gonna come into the tire, chest to tire, and then I'm gonna pop off and catch myself. But notice my body stays real straight. Pop, pop, throw your, launch yourself up. Boom, boom. Love this exercise. Pop, pop, explosive. And then you just catch yourself. You're, you're catching, you're not coming that far off. I'm like six, eight inches off the tire. I catch myself, I lower myself down under control and then pop again, all right? Now, love that one. The next exercise, very, very similar, but I need some help. All right, exercise number six, partner pushes. I've went into the office and I found this, this guy. So uh, 
you, you do need you need a partner for this uh, out of all 13 exercises this is the one that is really fun to do you can't do it by yourself though try to find somebody of similar strength and build uh, if they're real powerful or way weaker than you this won't go well I'll tell you that and sometimes it's fun to make it a little bit of a competition so this is how you start it off yeah, yeah. you The important thing is to stand strong, most likely one foot forward, one foot back, but you can do feet side by side. Catch it early, extend the arms. And have fun. Good. So partner presses, again you saw me mostly with like a staggered step. You can do side by side like this. You're not going to be as powerful like this. You're going to be more braced and have a little bit more uh, ability with your feet staggered. But it's fun to play around with foot position. Try the other foot forward and just try to catch the, the uh, tire early. Don't wait too long. You'll get stuck way down here and it might not go well. So you want to keep those arms close, catch it early, and keep a, a nice tempo and a nice rhythm. All right, moving on to exercise number seven. All right, back to the lower body, box jumps. Love the tire for box jumps, just jumping up and, and, and stepping down, okay? That's the one thing with box jumps you wanna get good at, is jump up, be explosive, but step down. Don't jump back down. It'll save your knees and it'll just save you in the exercise, okay? So be powerful, right? Some people like to really throw their arms up. The key is to really pull your knees as high as you can. So get down, pull your knees up, step down, step down, alternate maybe which leg you step down with. I mean, some people have some crazy box jumps. They can do 50, 60 inch box jumps, just nuts. This is not that much. This is anywhere in that 24 to 30 inch range. A very reasonable box jump, okay? This would be good for, you know, most, you know, average athletes. So again, you're here, pop. I always like to fully extend my body at the top. And step down under control. Now, the next one. The next one gets a little bit, a little bit nuts. The next one's fun, it's dynamic, there's a lot to it. The risk factor goes up a little bit, but let's face it, you're using a big rubber tire, so how hurt can you get, right? So you're gonna jump in the tire, out of the tire, then do a burpee, okay? These are tough, this by itself, there's a lot going on, like I said, major calorie burner, don't try to crush yourself, I would do no more than 10 of these if you want good ones. So again, I'll do somewhere like three or four or five. Um, I'm gonna jump in, jump out, burpee, repeat, okay? The key here is to try and jump in and out of the tire clean. So you gotta elevate and try to, you know, be smart with where your feet are, you know? So let's see how this goes. So put your hands on the tire so it's a guided jump, okay? You're gonna jump, boom, in, Hands are still planted, jump out, burpee, back to the tire. Jump in, jump out, burpee, tire, in. In, out. So you get the point. Good exercise. Gets the heart rate up, a lot going on. You're jumping, you're moving dynamically, you're twisting, you're using trunk rotation, you're using your legs, you're using your, your arms, everything's involved. It feels really good, gets the heart rate up massively. And again, I wouldn't do any more than probably five to 10 of those in a single set. And then recover and repeat. All right, let's move on. Okay, so exercise number nine, I grab myself, the old hammer, sledgehammer. So if you don't have one, just go buy one. 
Uh, they're pretty cheap and you can find them anywhere. Any hardware store has a sledgehammer. Uh, this is the big guy. This is 16 pounds. We also have the eight pounder over there. Maybe start with that and move up to the heavier one. I'm not gonna do a complete breakdown. We do have some sledgehammer slam videos on our channel. If you wanna see how to really do this, do swing the sledgehammer properly, go check those out. I'll make sure that I reference that video in this video. Uh, so you wanna stand a decent distance away. You always start with one hand up by the, the weight, one hand on the end, and the hands slide together as you come over the top, okay? Boom. Boom. Love sledgehammers. Everything is working on this. Good, so I'm gonna go to the other side. Again, start with one hand up by the weight, one hand's on the end. Watch my hands as they slide together. As I come over, boom, and I pull right back. Boom. 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 Look at my footwork. I launch myself up. I have triple extension going on. I'm extending my hips, my knees, my ankles. That's where I'm getting all my power, through my trunk, finishing through my arms, okay? Total body exercise. Love that one. Now, the one you've all been waiting for, exercise number 10, the flip. You thought you were gonna see the flip first, or second, or third. I moved it to number 10. I'm sure you knew it was coming. So you gotta do a tire flip. I'll get on this side. What I'll do is, I'll flip it up over that way, and maybe flip it back this way. Again, this is the one where you really gotta make sure you have the, a weight that you know you can work with. It's a full body movement. You really gotta get in close to that tire. Use your big power muscles, and you'll watch my knee help drive that, that tire up off the ground, okay? So get in tight really leaning into it. I'm down nice and close, and it's, a, it's explosive and fast, okay? One, two, knee, boom. So I didn't do the full push over. I will do one of those. So let me push it back. This time you'll see me go fully through it. So I'm gonna come up and push it right over, okay? Three, two, whoo. okay? So it's fast, you're not trying to take your time with a tire flip. It is not a slow tempo exercise. It's explosive, it's fast, it's all your power into the tire, get it over. Let's flip it back. Okay, now the best exercise, or the best way to incorporate these, probably do at least three to five flips in a chunk. So that's what we usually do is we roll these tires out into the parking lot and we'll do like usually sets of five. And you just go in as fast as you can, super powerful, super explosive, and it's all said and done inside of about 20 seconds. And you got about five flips under your belt. Love that exercise, one of my very favorites. Let's move on. All right, so we got three more to go. We're gonna do some hand plank walk-ups. So I really like this exercise. Again, great for the shoulders, for the core, for the triceps, a little bit of everything. You're gonna be down on the floor, right next to the tire, and all you're doing is climbing up and then back down. But you gotta keep your body tight. And then switch gears so that you're not always going up with the same arm. So up, up, down, down, under control. Like I said, switch gears, left, right, right, left. Hand plank walk up. Really great if you're somebody that loves to do, you know, ab wheel rollouts, things like that. Very similar effect on the core. All right, now we're gonna do some dips. So now we're really directly just hitting your arms. So we got the hands on the tire. Legs extended out, nice and straight. Drop yourself down as low as you can go. Press it out, right? 
If you're really beginner level, you might want to be more here. Bent knee, a little easier. Straight leg, a little bit more challenging. Just go down to where you feel you can go. Press it out. Obviously great way, dips can be done all kinds of ways. Never mind the forklift guy, not worried about him today, okay? He can try and steal my thunder, make all his forklift noises, not gonna bring me down today, okay? Yeah, I'm talking to you. All right, so last exercise are sit-ups. So now what we do is we sit up on the tire and we kinda, now we don't really have our huge advocates for sit-ups here, but this is kind of cool. It's almost like doing sit-ups on the glued ham raise. So you're, you're kind of down and coming up. Again, you're coming down, boom. Grab that lip of the tire, adjust as needed. If you're, sli if you're slipping and sliding, if you have external weight, like a medicine ball or something, that can be really good. Or if you want to sit more on the front edge of the tire, of course, I got to move my little audio box over a little bit. Let me do that. Right? This would be a great exercise too. If you had a partner who was tossing you a medicine ball maybe, and you're doing like a med medicine ball sit up off the edge of the tire. So just so many ways to play and use this tire that are fun, effective, total body. If you're really looking for conditioning, if you're looking for some strength, you're hitting everything with those exercises I just showed you. You're hitting your body in all different ways. Extremely effective way to train. Again, just take like three to five of these exercises, tops, and create your own workout with them. You can focus on lower body, upper body, uh, core, or just conditioning. Uh, and just, you know, if you circuit through stuff with limited rest. So, so many ways to implement this into uh, your routine and have an effective workout. Thank you so much for joining me today. I'd ask you one thing. Subscribe to the Critical Bench YouTube channel. We have so many videos. We have nearly 4,000 videos on YouTube between our two YouTube channels right now. And we have a podcast channel as well, which is so exciting. So uh, there's so much here for you. Everything from big tire training, kettlebells, dumbbells, free weights, machines, suspension, body weight, stretching, glute training. Uh, I mean, you name it, we have made the video and most likely we've made 25, 50 or 100 videos on that topic. So just search on Critical Bench for anything that you're looking for. Please subscribe though, because we have so much to offer you and we thank you so much for watching this video today. Please leave me a comment or a question. I'd love to hear from you and be sure to hit that big thumbs up for me. We'll see you again in the next video. Oh, 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 oh,